Now, we will take a look on how to store products in Retail Graph. We can enter product through Product Master. Product Master form can be accessed from either the taskbar shortcut or from the inventory under Main Master menu. When click, a list of already stored products can be seen. To create a new product, click on Form View and then click on New button. Here we will learn to edit the product detail. Let's say we want to edit Cinch really 1231L. To edit it, either select the entire row or just select the product and click on Form View. In the main form, you will see three tabs, Product Details, Lot Details and Image. First we will look at the Product Detail tab. You can start entering product detail by giving marketing group, category, and brand and product name. According to the type of product, you can give size or strength for the product. You have an option to set the manufacturer. You can either define alias and barcode manually or click on generates to get it automatically, according to parameters defined in system default. You have an option to define the name of the product which he wants to print in sales and purchase invoice. You can further define stock locations, product attributes and description. You have an option to assign minimum and maximum stocks per location through minimum stock and maximum stock. You have an option to define up to two billing units. Here for example, we want to define the pack is equivalent to a piece. So we have defined, contain 1 and contain 0 for pack and a piece. But let's say we have a bag of 10 packs with 5 pieces in each pack then we would define unit 1 as bag, contains 10, unit 2 as pack, pack equals 5. You have the option to set default MRP, sales and purchase rate for the product. But these are just default values and sale and purchase rate can be edited during time of sales and purchase. On the right hand upper corner you can define rate units and see the taxes applicable on product. Taxes are set from system default. You have the option to apply other parameters like color, size, manufacturing date, expiry date, unique ID. Keep stock and is virtual on the product. Their availability in the form is set from system defaults. If after a period of time, you want to discontinue the product he can do it from the status area of the form. You can set lot details from the lot details tab. To generate a lot number, double click on batch number. You can then enter details like different rate like sales purchases and MRP. You can also set parameters like color, batch number, manufacturer and barcode for a particular lot. From the bottom left hand side grip, stock location and quantity for a particular lot can be seen and opening stock quantity for a product can be edited until a transaction of the product is done. From the image tab. You can assign an image to the product either by scanning an image or selecting it from a hard drive location. You also have the option to remove the image. For every form you have an option of either to save or cancel the changes done in a form.